Hey friends, so I'm really excited to share this with you. Um, I'm in the process of replanting a ton of my succulents that I've collected through my succulent obsession while staying at my friend's beach house over the winter. And as I was beginning to film and repot a lot of the stuff I had, it went and it clicked in something that I've been wanting to do uh, before leaving. So I'm going to hang out with you while uh, planting a succulent in a conch shell. So it's gonna take a little bit of maneuvering. It's total chaos here. We are in the process of moving. It shits everywhere. Lighting probably sucks, and I've never done this before, but I'm gonna figure it out and uh, have fun with you along the process. So this was a um, succulent my mom sent me from California. Thanks, mom. <laughs> She's here. Um, <laughs> And it grew very quickly and it's beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. I wasn't thinking about putting a succulent this big in the conch shell, but I just pulled it out of another pot to transfer and just make more sense because you know things grow and they need to be replanted. And also while moving, it just makes sense to consolidate things. So there's not like literally a hundred pots because that's 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 where I'm at right now. So anyway, my brother found this conch shell. Um, on the beach and it, there was already a crack in it um, but there was another crack because it fell it was really windy outside and it cracked but I thought hey we can still get really creative uh, because it's the whole point of this and use some handy dandy moss here and fill in these gaps and get have fun with it so as I was replanting all of a sudden it just clicked in and this is the joy with succulents is like really just staying with the plants and moving things around until it makes sense and until things click and until things make you excited. I mean, you could probably take that into anything in life. So anyway, I thought, oh no, what if I put this in here? And it worked, so we're gonna try it out. So usually before I get started or do a lot of the base stuff, I eye things first. So we're gonna eye it here and I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna see the best way for you guys to see it. I know it looks like a crappy shell, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna eye it in here and just let it sit really snug um, like this, okay? And no blighting sucks. Um, and I'm gonna make it really beautiful with the moss and stuff, okay? So um, we're gonna find a way for this baby to work. And so, anyway, I've been wanting to do this project. I have a couple more shells and I wanna share with you guys because I am in love with succulents okay so when it comes to moss for this i have um thicker moss so you know if you ever sometimes i use moss to like hold succulents up um and i like this moss my brother got this for me for christmas um and it's just like a assorted moss collection I think it might be from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or I think you probably get it at some kind of home goods or something. I have a ton of moss. You can also get moss at um, Lowe's and Home Depot. You can get this kind of moss. And I like to change it up depending on what kind of arrangement I'm doing. You can get sheet moss here. Um, I am using just regular potting soil but just make sure it's cactus. And I'm just going to be recycling it from where this came from. Um, and then I also have um, um, another moss that specifically succulents can grow in without using soil, but I don't think we're going to need that here. We might. That might be a good idea. But it has enough soil like already on it here to do that. And I'm going to... So because there's a hole down here, what I'm gonna do first is actually put a big piece of this in to block it. And this is actually great for like watering and stuff because there's gonna be enough drainage. Not sure if you can see this, but I'm just gonna put a whole big chunk in there. A big one. And it might look like trash at first, but that's cool. All right, cool. And I also have glue, so if we really need it, I'm gonna glue it. But see how it's like coming out the bottom there? And luckily I have a good amount of it, so. 
just gonna shove it in there. Yeah, that's a great idea. And this, once it sets in, is just gonna naturally like grow into the space and probably even root in around that space. So I am just, hope you can see me, shoving a ton of moss in here. And I promise, even though it kind of looks like crap right now, it's going to look very beautiful. Because that's what we do. We turn stuff that looks like crap into really beautiful things. All right, I think that might be like enough, but I want to make it like really secure. So I'm just going to put enough in because it's fluffy now because it's, um, I'll show you in a second, fluffy now but it will it will dampen a little bit at, when you wet it but then also it will dry too when you leave it dry for a little bit okay all right so i have just filled in that whole space with moss and that will hold it pretty secure and then what i'm gonna do there's moss down here too that's perfect make it like snug and then I'm gonna pour some dirt in here. Okay, so I'm taking this pot that I already have dirt in. I'm just gonna recycle it for now. I was even thinking about like putting a succulent out through this, but I don't want to, we'll see later. I don't want to overdo it right now. I think I'm going to put moss at the top too. Okay. So I like, so he's thinking about trimming this guy and taking off this little thing, this extra thing. But I noticed that when I was like holding it to like, properly put it in here it was like a nice leverage piece so I'm gonna keep it as is um, and if any of the little leaves come off while doing this then I'll save it for propagation check out my how to propagate succulents video I'll put a link in the description okay so I hope you can see this properly and the way that I had it was like this but I wonder oh wow oh my god <laughs> um okay Out. I'm making an absolute mess, but that's what you do when you're playing. I wonder if it would be like that better and let it sit up. Oh my god, it's absolutely gorgeous from this side if I put it like this, but I don't want it to tip over. But look, look at that, like how beautiful that would be. Okay, so there's a couple different ways we could do this. We could have it like this and set it like that. Oh my God, that's so beautiful, it's stupid. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Is this even a better way than before? Oh my God, oh my God, I'm freaking out. The lighting sucks too, so you can't even see like how gorgeous that is. Look at that. Oh my God, I got so lucky with this one. I'm telling you guys, succulents are the coolest fucking plants. And the stem is like sitting back here, so it's secure, because basically what I'm trying to do is just make sure that it's like secure enough that um, it doesn't like fall out because if I set it like that, it's not going to stand. So I want it to sit like that and obviously not fall out, but that's why we're going to secure it in there. <laughs> the other way to do it would be like this and to let it go like that, but that doesn't feel right. See, just got to experiment. Okay. So I'm going to dump out some of this dirt so that there's a little, it can go a little bit deeper than what we had before. And then I'm gonna put dirt around it. Okay, so we did it the other way. I know you, I'm gonna show you. Okay, oh my God, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it in and then I can actually cut off that extra thing. So I have it in a way that it's secure here so that I can put stuff over it to keep it down and then it's gonna look like that from the other side and rest. 
gorgeous. Freaking out. Okay. So I dumped a bunch of dirt here, but, and then we can trim it after. Oh my God, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Thanks, Jeff, for giving me this. Okay. And then I'm going to use the same way that I secured this area and I'm going to put moss over this side. You can also use glue to like keep it down. And the watering for this, the way, the best way to kill it, okay, I bought one from a friend of mine like years ago. It's very different, but I drenched it with water I didn't know and it died. So I would say in something like this, to spray it spray it or just do little bits or you can even take a turkey baster and just do drops of water i have a little watering thing that squirts out but i would have controlled watering with something like this because you don't want to overdo it which would be really easy with something like this okay so this is where we're at and i have some dirt in there i think i might put a little bit more and i'm going to press it down so that it feels really secure because you really want it to be like um, secure in here okay but not too much but I want it to be like snug so it can really root in okay. so what I'm doing here is I'm pushing this down so that it's really really comfy snug so it can like make a little house in here So this is where I, it looks like a little ship. Look how freaking adorable that is. Okay. So we got this popping out here. And then the way it's gonna sit is like this. Oh my God, it's amazing. Okay. So a way for you to see it is I'm gonna put it like this so you can see it and get this thing out of the way. All right. I was thinking I was gonna trim this guy here but it can actually be good because one, something might grow from it. And then two, I can actually use it as like leverage for the um, moss. And oh my God, it looks so cute from over here. Check it out. Check out how adorable that is. Okay, I'm gonna do it in a way you guys can see it. So these are my little clippers. I don't know if we're gonna need them though. Okay. I think I'm going to take the same moss just so it stays. I don't want it to get too wild, but um, I have other color moss, but I think this might just do. Sometimes if this is too dry and you're having a hard time with it, you can like wet it or dampen it while you're doing it and it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to take this. Oh my God, see that branch is perfect. Put it right here. Can just sit so it doesn't have to be too 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 snug but I want you want to like really make sure that it's like comfy okay gonna be a little bit careful with these things so the best thing if it's too dry you want to this is moist enough so you have a little bit of leverage so I can go under And then usually if it's like too dark in a spot, I put that at the bottom. Okay. So then I'm gonna do that here. Go down like this. <laughs> I'm like a mad succulent lady. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Creative chaos. <laughs> pushing it all down and then once I'm done I'll probably spray it so it kind of like settles if you will okay. what you can do is you can like glue it in this spot right. so 
So I guess the key here is to use the leaves and the branch as like leverage. Too. Okay, I think I have one little spot left. And then I'm going to put it in this last little spot so how the kind of comes up. I'm freaking out, guys. I'm freaking out. So we got that. How incredible is this? So then it will sit like this. The lighting is so bad, I wish it was better. And then, you know, I could probably put some stuff here, like, I don't want to go overboard, but I could, but I'm going to leave it simple and then add to it later. But I'm so happy that I found this. Hey, mom. Yeah? I finished. You want to see it? Yeah. Come here. I think I'm like... Uh, like actually obsessed I feel like every time I make a new one it's like this is my favorite one and then it just keeps getting better oh my god that's gorgeous isn't oh that, my god that's gorgeous isn't that absolutely amazing I'm filming <laughs> 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 oh, stick my face in there. <laughs> Say hi. Okay, so then it will sit like this. Oh, it sits. How amazing is that? How did it? Sit? So I flipped it around to do it the other way so that it could actually sit properly like this. Mm. And then I made it snug enough so this was coming out. How how incredible is that? That's gorgeous. I'm freaking out about it. It's like perfect. And then like I was gonna cut this off, but I just used it to like hold this stuff down. This is the Moss Jeffrey got me for Christmas. How mm. incredible is that? Good. Can you take a picture so I can send it to my friend who gave it to send it oh, to Oh, yeah. yeah. My mom's friend cut this out of her garden, and then um, it was and like a cutting. Head. And then when, it, when I uh, got it, I put it in dirt, and then it created like new roots, and it grew really big. Like it's probably grown like double in the well, size. I guess it's like a month since a month or something, but it did well so quickly, and it's like... It's like flourishing, like, I wish the lighting was better to show, but anyway, guys, that is my how to put a succulent in a conch shell, Suc sea succulents at the seashore in a she seashell. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you liked this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and all the things and comment and yeah. That's all for today. Awesome. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.